What's up guys, Maka here, and today I'm bringing you another tutorial for the second time today. I know, it's crazy, but people have been messaging me like crazy to show my on this text because I showed them kind of a preview on my psycho edit, so... Oh, warming up my cat's being an absolute penis. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I'm back, so basically it's this thing right here. Uh, it's really laggy here, but you can see it kind of, it's like... Has this like kind of glow coming off it? It's really simple, and a lot of people didn't know how to do it. So, like this effect here, all the glow. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that today, whilst 2D tracking it. Yeah. Cat, shut up. Okay. Yeah. So basically, all you want to do is you want to find like the start of your where you want to start tracking it. You want to move the render bar towards it. Okay. Go towards the end. You know, render bar again. Scale it up, uh, get it like right there, quite a nice place. Okay, yeah, so um, then what you're going to want to do is trim comp to work area by right clicking, pre compose it, uh, call it whatever, go back into this, and you should have this really clean, yeah. So, what you want to do is you want to click the layer, click effect, perspective 3D camera tracker, then you just got to let it, you know, do its thing. Yeah, I'll resume it when it's done. Okay, so sorry guys, I've done this wrong a little here. You don't, you want to, when you pre-compose it, my bad, you want to move all to, yeah. Okay, I should just have this. Or whatever. Yeah, so. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to click the layer, click layer, and, um, no effect, sorry, perspective, and uh, a 3D camera tracker. And again, I will wait for it to, yeah, you know, okay. Okay, so it's done tracking, and you'll be left with, like, all these weird points, and you won't know what to do with it. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to right-click, create, null, and camera. And then you should get these two layers, you don't want to delete them, they're important. You know what, cat, get off. Sorry. Yeah, I just want to type in like whatever, so I'm just going to type in Mecca. Well, a bit big, okay. Uh, 200. Okay, well, I'm going to use the font, so it's got to be all capitals. Or whatever. Then you put it there, and then you want to click this little cube bit here to make it 3D. Oh, that should be tracked like that. You can. You know, fiddle it, or whatever, you know, rotate it, like to the side, or whatever. Okay. Well, okay. So, what you want to do next is you want to add on a shine. Doesn't matter what kind of shine. Oh, well, yeah, obviously it does because it's shine, but yeah. Okay, so you want to change it to add. You want to put the source point right in the middle of your text or whatever, and you'll get this cool, like, outward flying effect. You can change the colour to, you know, whatever you want, so, aura, you know, just kind of, heaven, magic, yeah, it doesn't really matter. So, I'm going to choose electric, because, yeah, it looks quite nice. Then what you can do is, you can add on a hue and saturation. This is optional, you don't have to actually do this, it's just, it just makes it look nice. Same thing with the behind kill cam, you want to keyframe it, go to wait, wherever your like end is, put it to 2, depending on how far it is, and it should do this cool like, changing colour effect. Then, because the whole scene is tracked anyway, you can just add on whatever you want, so I'm just going to add on some cool particles, or Particles. Okay, then I'm just gonna add on some. Uh, oh, Spins has got some good ones. Particle shoot. That's a good one. This is the one I'm using in my psycho edit. I'm not sure where they are, but they should. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Bad. That's bad, I did not mean to do that. He added on the wrong preset, so it's star particle, I think. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I'm going to change the 
position to hide my text. And you'll get this cool kind of glowing effect. And you can rotate it or whatever. Make it look like it's actually behind the text. And you can scale it up. Done. I have this cool effect where it's changing color and there's all these like little things behind it. So leave a like and a comment guys, tell me what you think of this because I'll do a few more of these. If you have any suggestions on any recent edits I've done, I'll be sure to answer your comments and everything. Um, have a nice day.